Hi, hello, and good evening. A video that a lot of you guys have been requesting is a video of the CarPlay here on the Census on the 2016 Volvo XC90. So I thought I would show you guys here just a quick video of the functions and how it works. So hope you guys enjoy. So guys, I know I haven't done a video on the Census yet that will be coming up but there's much more to the census than the apple carplay so that will be a longer video with much more content i don't have a lot of time now to make videos i hope you guys understand but there will be a video on the census at a later point so just a super quick introduction to those of you who are completely new to census census is volvo's media and navigation system in the 2016 Volvo XC90 and will be coming to future Volvo products. It's run here on the central 9.3 inch touch display. It is not a capacitive, though it works like a capacitive screen, but it also allows usage with gloves. So just very quick, it has three panes, this central or home screen, and then you can swipe to the right to get to the left screen, which gives you car functions and then you can go back to the middle and then swipe to the left to go get applications. So here you have radio, you have DAB, you have Bluetooth, you have Apple CarPlay and messages and things like that. Down here you have the climate controls. So you have temperature, synchronize, unsynchronize, and you can hit the minus or the plus to go up and down in temperature. You can also just slide this slider to change the temperature and you can also press the temperature to adjust the temperature so you have four main tiles here on the home screen the top one is navigation which you can maximize you can minimize and you can press it one more time to collapse you also have bluetooth media or am fm dab or aux on the third tile, you have phone. As you can see now, it's connected to my Samsung device. On the fourth tile, you have a customizable uh, option. So now it says Apple CarPlay because I've just had the iPhone connected. But what happens if I connect the iPhone? So without further ado, let's show you guys CarPlay. The iPhone can only be connected via an iPhone USB cable and it has to be connected within the center center armrest where there is a USB plug for CarPlay. So connecting to an iPhone 6 now and a prompt comes up on the screen. It says a device is connected to the car through Bluetooth and will be unavailable while Apple CarPlay is active. Do you want to start Apple CarPlay? Let's go ahead and press yes. So starting Apple CarPlay, as you can see here, now my Samsung device is disconnected and also my phone is disconnected. So if I press here, there's nothing connected. If I go through the phone, there's nothing connected either. If I go to the map, I can still use the built-in navigation. So I can set destination, I can pick a city, Oslo, and then start navigation. So the navigation still works. So it's calcul calculating and the navigation, the built-in navigation still works, which is very nice because I get it here on the central display. I also get it on the 12.3 inch display behind the steering wheel and I also get the navigation up on the heads up display, which this car is equipped with. So go ahead and press that home button again, one more time to collapse all the tiles. So let's go ahead and press CarPlay so and press home so do that one more time go ahead and press carplay so there we have eight apps there are no more apps installed on this phone yet but there are or will be more apps available here on the left side we have the clock we have the connectivity which is 4g and we have five bars of 4g and then you have the home button so if you go ahead and press phone whom shall I help you call? Cancel, Siri. 
Okay. Siri is the default when you go ahead and press phone on the CarPlay. But here you have favorites, recents, contacts, and then you have your contacts list here that you can go ahead and click on. And then you have the keypad, and then you have a voicemail all over to the right. So you go ahead and press home. And if you press phone again, Siri will come right away. But you can go and press phone and then go and press show Who contacts. For you? And Siri should be canceled. She's very quick to respond, but if you just go ahead and press the contacts button, you will override Siri. The next app here is music, which lets you play music that is stored on your device. So on this device we have, I think these are probably just the built-in playlists and if you have artists, you have songs. So here we have a few songs from the Wombats and you can go ahead and you can play and then you get the player up on the screen. So this is very practical if you want to control your music from the central screen here and then you can go and skip you can pause you can play you can you cannot jump forwards so go and press pause and go back and then go press the home button you also have apple maps which works completely fine apple maps has really become a solid map in the recent years. But what I don't like about this is that if you use Apple Maps, you don't get the maps in the display behind the steering wheel, be between the tachometer and speedometer. You get a very nice navigation screen when you use the built-in navigation. You, don't, you do not get that when you use Apple CarPlay, and you do not get the navigation up on the heads-up display. For that reason alone, I used Apple Maps for about 10 minutes, but the built-in navigation here works much, much better. And you can also maximize that for maximum real estate. So you can get navigation on three levels. You can have, here you can zoom in and out. So you can have a really nice overview of the where you're going and then you can have a zoomed in overview on the screen behind the steering wheel and then you have the the next prompts on the heads up display take left 500 meters take right 200 meters etc go ahead and press the home button again but those things you do not get on the Apple Maps unfortunately on the CarPlay so for that reason alone I do find the built-in navigation to be superior to the Apple Maps and on the CarPlay. So go ahead and press the home button again. And you have now playing, you have podcasts, you have audiobooks, you have messages. So you can read messages, you can write messages. The same thing as you can do on the built-in census here allows you to do the exact same thing. And then you have maybe most interesting of all you have Spotify you can browse your music press your playlists and let's go to discover weekly so here you have songs and this is really cool because this is probably what most of you guys will be using the Apple CarPlay for have your phone connected and instead of you know navigating through and pressing and pushing on your phone to change songs to to search you can do that here on the central screen of the Volvo so let's go ahead and play a Taylor Swift song which is probably does not include Taylor Swift it's not a Taylor Swift song it's just called my Taylor Swift just as on the built-in media player on the iPhone this allows you to pause play skip but you cannot jump to any point in the song here. So by accident, I did skip. So go ahead and press pause, go back, go back, go back. So you go and press 
home again. So that was a quick look at the Apple CarPlay for Census on the 2016 Volvo XC90. As you can see, the functions are quite limited. For myself, I do not use this app, even though it was a $500 option. But I am pretty sure that in the future, that CarPlay will get better as it ages. So I absolutely think that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are the future. But as we speak, now in February 2016, the built-in, the base census navigation and media system here in 2016, Volvo XC90 is quite superior to the Apple CarPlay. So if I go disconnect this again, pull out the cable from the iPhone, you can see that the navigation still works there and it is connecting to my Bluetooth device. No Bluetooth device connected. So probably I will have to go press there and no, it's connected now. But here on the phone, I also do get contacts. I get a keypad. I can also read messages and I can also send messages. So that functionality is still there. And the only thing I am lacking that is of any use on the built-in apps for the CarPlay is the media player here. I don't have a media player. I can't skip or anything like that. But I can on the buttons, the hard buttons on the console and on the steering wheel, I can skip and pause the music. So some functionality is there, but not all. But I still prefer just connecting via Bluetooth using the built-in navigation, which gives me three levels of navigation. And the other functions that are in, built in CarPlay, those apps that are there already, I don't use. So that was a quick look at Apple CarPlay for the census on the 2016 Volvo XC90. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked that short video. For more car content, please subscribe. And if you liked that video, please go ahead and click that like button in the description below. See you guys later. Goodbye.